Unfortunately, my cookies aren't quite ready yet, but I can give you the recipe if you'd like to try making them yourself. Oh, that's fine. I can wait on the cookies. Besides, I heard you got some really great crate. <laughs> This is a game where you basically, you're a vampire and you have to convince your neighbors to let you in so you can take their blood. Look into this game chat. <clears throat> a cool, damn, stay still, fucking mad. You doing? A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite, but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Okay. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. So how are we gonna get how are we gonna do this chat? Alright, which house are we going to first, chat? We're going left or right? Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Damn, y'all, y'all are split. Okay, we got two rights now. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go right. Let's knock on the door. Yo, what's poppin', fam? Welcome to my crib. Wallahi. Loud at. Or oh, whatever the fuck. What brings you to my hood so late? Not much, man. I'm just surveying the area, you know what I'm saying? I heard, you know, there's some niggas that got some fire, so I had to pull up. Why the fuck did I say niggas? Oh, well, he, he fucks with it. Hey, I feel you, bro. This hood definitely got some dope artists. What kind of fire are you talking about? Paintings, graffiti, something else? Shit, man, I'm a producer, bro. I, I'm just looking for some dope, you know, rappers out in the area. You know any? I'm a rapper myself, bro. I got some bars that'll blow your mind. If you're looking for some dope MCs, I got a few homies who can spit straight fire. You trying to collab or just check out their stuff? Bro, I got some beats on me right now. If you're trying to work on something right now, bro, it's up to you. Let me know for sure. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, bro. I'm down to vibe and work on something right now. Let's see what fire we can cook up together. Come through. My studio's right inside. See, this is what I be talking about, Chad. If you want to network with people, just be normal. Now, it's unfortunate that I'm going to have to take this nigga's blood and kill him for everything he's got. But that's besides the point. Oh, yeah. Kill this nigga. Gonna drop a sick beat in the grave. No one on their fucking dying bed or in their dying breath is going to say some stupid ass shit like that. What the fuck are we talking about? Let's just... I'm gonna just take all this nigga's fucking shit, bro. Let's let's go over here. Let's, what we got? Oh shit, Granny! What brings you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? What's good, Graham? Graham, I just wanted to stop over and see if you had any of those cookies. Your, your specialty. Oh, you know me, always baking up a storm. I may just have a fresh batch of my famous oatmeal raisin cookies. But tell me, dear, what's with the get up? Are you filming a music video or something? Don't sell. I'm not gonna sell. I'm not gonna sell, Chad. Come on. I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking sell. Tr trust. Just trust in me. Trust me. Look, 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 look. I got this. Oh, you know me, Graham. Always working, you know what I'm saying? We got another music video on the way. Speaking of which, are you interested in being in the video soon? Oh my goodness, a music video? Well, I must say, that sounds very exciting, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a performer. I'll leave that to you talented folks. Best of luck with your video, dear, but I think it's time for me to get back to my knitting. Goodbye now. He sold. Ain't no nigga sold, bro. This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Let's try this. We'll do a different disguise. Oh my goodness, dearie. What's, what on earth are you doing here at this ungodly hour? Is there some sort of emergency? My poor nor poor nerves can't take it. Um, yes, ma'am. There seems to be some uh, faulty stabilization in this building, and we have to check and make sure there isn't a gas leak or anything because of it. Oh my, faulty stabilization? That sounds awfully dangerous. You certainly have an important job making sure... Everything is safe and sound. Do you need any help with your inspection, dear? No, ma'am. I just need to come in and make sure everything is okay because we've gotten reports throughout the neighborhood that there might be leaks. Come on now. Oh, leaks, you say? That's quite concerning, dear, but I'm afraid I can't let you in right now. What the fuck? No, I didn't fucking sell that. We'll go back to this disguise. See what's going on. Yo, bro, what's up? You here to talk crypto or what? Let's dive deep and ride the Bitcoin wave, man. Oh, I ain't got shit for this. Yeah, man, I'm trying to be tapped in with the blockchain. You got any advice for a dude that's getting into this stuff? Absolutely, my dude. First things first, make sure you educate yourself on the basics of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. <sighs> Yo, bro, you sound pretty knowledgeable in all of this crypto stuff. You mind, like, giving me any type of, like, personal lessons on this stuff? Thanks for the compliment, bro. I'd love to help you, but instead of personal lessons, how about we join a crypto community together? There are some awesome online forums and groups where you can learn from experience. Learn from experience. Trade it on message. That's like a crypto Why ain't he like the grandma keeping it short and sweet? Dead ass, though. Telling her that there's a gas leak in the house? Yeah. Sure. My internet is out right now, but I'd still like to be informed about this type of stuff. Is there any way I can still soak in some knowledge until my internet comes back on? 
That's what I'm talking about. No problem, dude. I've got just a solution for you. I got some epic crypto podcasts and audiobooks that you can listen to while your internet is down. They're packed with knowledge and insights that'll keep you pumped and informed. Come on in and I'll hook you up with some content. Let's fucking go, nigga. No, bitch. You're not going anywhere. Guess it's a bear market. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. You can't say I didn't fucking save that. Guess that nigga is barely living anymore. Dead ass. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Wow. There's nothing I can go off with that. I could go off with the leak shit again, bro. Yo, homie, I came here to, uh... I already fucked up. Yo, my power just went out, and I was just wondering to see if uh, any neighbors had been dealing with any power outages as well. Ugh, the power outage is totally cramping my style, yeah. My power went out too. It's probably some lame glitch or something. I can see that you have your lights on, so I'm like... Now I'm at a loss. Ask if she wanna make a movie? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Well, I tried using my fuse box, but it didn't work, but maybe I could help you out with yours by accessing your fuse box and giving you a chance to turn it back on. Oh, please, I'm not some helpless damsel in distress with L Riz. It's not, nigga, I'm not trying to riz her up. I'm trying to, f how can I spin this? Oh, ma'am, I didn't mean any harm in what I said. I just thought I could be of service and, you know, help out a friendly neighbor, you know? Whatever, dude, I guess I could use some help since my power's still out and I have better things to do than mess with a stupid. Don't ever doubt me again, chat. I promise I'll be quick, no worries. Fine, you got five minutes, don't make me regret this. You gonna regret it, alright? Die, bitch! Damn, where the fuck her outfit go? Whatever, I'm gonna keep using this shit. Our apologies, gang. We didn't know your accolades was on point like that. Shit, you know. I just gotta handle shit the way I need to handle shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry, neighbor. My power went out, and I was just going around the neighborhood to make sure if anyone else's power went out. Why the fuck that nigga got a gun? So you think you can go poking around people's territory without permission, huh? Well, lucky for you, my boss is in a good mood today. Oh, no harm, sir. I'm just trying to make sure everyone in the neighborhood is good. I don't, I didn't mean to bother you. All right, all right. I'll give you a break this time. But remember, this is my turf, and we don't take kindly to nosy folk. Next time, ask for permission. I'll scram before I change my mind. Yes, sir. I'll be out of your way, sir. I'm not trying to get shot. Good. Now, that's the smart move. You're lucky, kid. I'm gonna let let you slide this time. Remember, this is my turf, and I'm always watching. Keep your nose clean, and we won't have any problems. I get lost. Suck my dick, nigga. Talk to me like I'm some bitch. <laughs> nigga, you got a What do you want this late at night selling me some useless junk? I got nothing for you, so leave me be. Now listen here, pal. I heard we got a noise complaint from you, from the neighbors, and the cops aren't doing anything about it, so they put me to the task. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't made a peep. Now get out of my porch before I call the cops on you. That didn't work. Maybe we can try with the gun. Haircut is tough right now. No, no, the f <gasps> Yo, that nigga almost got my ass, bro. Let's try this again. You see this gun in my hand? I'm gonna ask you again. Why are you making noise in the neighborhood? Well, that didn't work. Let's find a new house. Go back to the granny. Let's let's go by the granny. Well, hello there, dear. What brings you to my doorstep at this hour? Hi, Graham Graham. I was just wondering if I could try some of your world famous cookies. Oh my dear, how sweet of you to ask. Unfortunately, my cookies aren't quite ready yet, but I can give you the recipe if you'd like to try making them yourself. Oh, that's fine, I can wait on the cookies. Besides, I heard you got some really great cake. <laughs> Fuck! But I heard you got some really great cake in there that's already ready to eat, and I'm starving. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but I'm afraid I do not have any cake ready at the moment. I do have some leftover vegetable stew. Oh, I'd love some vegetable soup. It's so yummy and delicious. Do you have a bowl ready just for me? What the fuck, bitch? Why did she get angry? I didn't even say anything crazy. You want her cake? Shut the fuck up. Okay, well, let's knock on this door. Oh, Raven Chan, what brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? What's an anime that I've watched recently? I'm gonna keep it simple. Yo, Sakura, what's good? I came to uh, stop by and tell you that I actually finished Cowboy Bebop. It was such a great watch. <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed Cowboy Bebop. It's such a classic and the music is just amazing. Which character was your favorite? Spike is just the GOAT, you know? He really has such a great laid back attitude and he really handles his business when he needs to. Oh my gosh, yas, I totally agree.
Spike is just the epitome of coolness and his fighting skills. Oh my, that's just so breathtaking. Did you have a favorite episode? Oh my gosh, the last episode. Such a sad send off, but I felt like it was the right way to wrap up the story. I couldn't agree more. That final episode was a roller coaster of emotions. It had me in tears, but also filled with a sense of closure. It's truly a masterpiece. By the way, have you seen any other anime series that you recommend? Honestly, I got a whole laundry list of stuff that I still need to watch. Would you be down to watch some of them together? So go. I would absolutely love to watch anime together. Let me go get some snacks and make some space for us. Okay, it's up for you, nigga. I didn't even finish my cosplay. All right, bro. I went crazy, though. You can't lie. Damn, I got attached to that anime, nigga. Come on, bro. Oh, hey, Raven. What do you want? I'm just here sulking in my dark room, strumming my guitar, thinking about how love is just a cruel joke. Can't you see I'm in the middle of a world-altering heartbreak? How do I want to go about this? I could either A, be the rebound, or B, just be the comforting friend. I'm not trying to be the rebound. Sorry to hear that. What... What exactly happened? She said I was too emo and that my constant melancholy was bringing her down. Can you believe it? She just doesn't understand my art and the depth of my emotions. It's like she doesn't even appreciate the pl the pain in my soul. Ugh, relationships are so overrated. Anyway, enough about me. What's up with you? <laughs> Yo, this thing is insane. Uh, she just doesn't understand you. Anyways, I was just going around town seeing if there was something to do and it seems like you really need a friend right now. Yeah, you're right. It's nice to have someone to talk to, especially someone that, who gets me like you do. Thanks for being here, man. Maybe we can hang out and grab a c coffee or something. I could use some distraction from this heartbreak. See, this nigga's trying to get me as the rebound anyways. Fuck! I'm down to hang out right now if you'd like. Really? That would be awesome. Could use some company right now. Come on in. Let's head out and grab that coffee. It'll be good to get out of this gloomy room for a bit. This game is fucked. At least give me your digits. Nigga, on your deathbed? What are you talking about? Rizwin? Not much Riz in that, bro. Good grief, he's naked! Hey there, Groovy Raven. What's up, man? Just hanging out in my natural state, ready to embrace the beauty of the universe. What brings you to my humble abode, my friend? Dude, why are you naked again? Oh, no worries, man. I just believe in freedom of the body, you know? One with nature, you know? Clothes can be so restrictive, man. But hey, it's not your thing, so I totally get it. So what? <laughs> What can I do for you today, my fellow Earthling? Oh, I didn't mean any harm by it. I was just caught off guard by it. If anything, it's empowering. I respect what you're doing. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate your respect and open-mindedness. It's all about embracing who we truly are, right? So what brings you here today? Just soaking up some positive vibes, or is there something specific you like to chat about? Odwin got demonic riz. What the fuck? I see you have the floaty around your waist. Are you getting ready to go swimming or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, you noticed, man. Why, why did he get ex- Oh, you noticed, man. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, I'm all about taking a dip in the nearby river. Water is so rejuvenating and connects us to the energy of the earth, you know? Have you ever tried skinny dipping before? It's pure freedom. No, but I'm not opposed to trying it. You seem to be enjoying your life. It seems to bring you a lot of joy. That's awesome, man. Embracing new experiences is what life's all about. If you're up for it, I could show you a secret spot by the river where we can go skinny dip together. Just be warned, it's a clothing optional zone, but the good vibes are... Okay, well, shit. This is not the all natural I had in mind. Well, nigga, you did. We're gonna try something different this time. If they get suspicious for me wearing this shit, oh my god, like, who are you and why are you even knocking on my door this late? Ugh, honestly, it better be golden retriever puppies or I'm closing this door. Since you wanna be like that, we'll spend that on you. Um, actually, I was knocking to ask if anyone was interested in adopting these puppies I just rescued. Wait, you rescued puppies? Okay, fine, I'm listening, but they better be cute and well groomed, otherwise, no deal. Show me what you got. I got just the sweetest pecking geese poodle. He brings me so much joy, but I know he needs a better home than what I have currently. Oh my gosh, a pecking geese poodle? That sounds like a fabulous addition to my collection of furry accessories. Bitch, what? Okay, fine. You can come on. You can come in and show me the precious little thing. But remember, if it doesn't meet my standards, I'm not obliged to adopt it. Oh, trust me, honey. He's just the sweetest little thing ever. <laughs> well, if you're absolutely positive that fur ball is top notch, then I guess I can spare some time to meet him. Come on in. But remember, this better be worth it. Yeah, talking to me crazy like that is up for you. This is so not fetch. Yo, these catchphrases are fucking questionable. Okay, they're stepping it up. I gotta hurry this up. Praise the Lord. Welcome to my humble abode. What brings you here on this fine evening? Dear Father, for I have sinned. 
Oh, dear child, fear not. It is in the arms of the Lord that we find forgiveness and redemption. Please share me with me your burden so that I may guide you towards the path of righteousness. Father, I'm looking to be indoctrinated into your church. I would like to get a baptism very soon because I, I want to be reborn. Okay, this thing is actually gonna be a tough cookie to crack. It didn't even. Ah! Why the fuck was that nigga there? It scared the fuck out of me. We gotta find a different outfit, bro, because these niggas tripping. All right, what's the game plan? Let's try Granny again. Oh my dear, bless your heart for braving the cold. Now, what mischief have you brought to my doorstep? This odd one fit. Not gonna lie, fuck you. Hi, Grandma. I've come to you bearing fresh ingredients for your cookies. Well, aren't you just a ray of sunshine? Come on. Let's fucking go, nigga. Let's fucking go. Oh, that sounds delightful. Let me come on in and start unpacking everything for you. Oh, no, 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 dude. See, why the fuck is she so skeptical? What the fuck do I do, bruh? Like, what do you mean, how did I mess that up? I mean, nigga, I said I got ingredients and she believed it and now all of a sudden she's like i don't know about that one tell her there's demons outside you too hasty how you just gonna barge in with ingredients suck my dick nigga. let's try this thing again i'm thinking i'm thinking give me a second chat I'm, I'm thinking say some old head shit talk about the annoying woke kids oh nothing charles I'm, i just came here to talk about how them damn leftists came to my doorstep again I thought that would work. We're gonna get him. Ugh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm, that I'm wallowing in the abyss of existence here? Well, fine, spit it out. Yo, is that a skateboard on your back, dude? Back in the day, they used to call me Eric Costin, bro. You know any good tricks? Yeah, I guess that's a skateboard. I used to skate, but it's all just meaningless now. You know, tricks are just empty distractions from the inevitable void, but hey, if you want to waste your time, go for it. Well, they don't always have to be empty. If you were pretty decent at it, you could have been sponsored. And I can help you get sponsored if you want to go that route. Sponsored, huh? I never thought about that. Maybe getting sponsored could bring some sort of temporary satisfaction to this meaningless existence. All right, tell me more about how you can help with that. Wow. That's all it took? The, yeah, the money literally got him fucking interested. I'm talking skate vids, competitions, magazines. You name it, I can make it happen. Wow, that actually sounds pretty cool. All right, come on in, crypto investor. <laughs> I forgot I had that nigga's fit on. Got his ass, bruh. Got his ass. Should have stayed in my room. All right, let's try this house. Let's try this house, chat. Manipulate. Fuck you. Excuse me, but what? Fucking Karen. What brings a security guard to my door at this ungodly hour? I demand an explanation. You're fed, want and want to ask her questions. Ma'am, we're doing an investigation in the neighborhood, and I came here to ask you some questions. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to... That's how you know she did the fucking crime, whatever she did. Well, 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 what do we have here? Don't tell me they sent it. Speak your purpose, guard, or be gone. Ma'am, I'm just here to ask questions. It has nothing to do with the work that you do, but there has been an incident in the neighborhood. An incident, you say? Well, I can assure you I have nothing to do with it, but if you assist, no, let's make it quick. I have patience to attend to. There's been a series of robberies going around, and I'm just here to make sure nothing was taken from you. Robberies, huh? Well, I must say, I keep a close eye on my possessions, but I so suppose it wouldn't hurt to answer a few questions just to clear my name fire away security guard oh no man we're not suspecting you we're just making sure nothing was taken from this house i don't know if you've checked around recently but we would like to do a thorough search thorough search huh i don't appreciate your ins i fucking she got drugs i knew it doc <coughs> i'm sick another sick patient huh what exactly are your symptoms my dear lab technician my leg purple my heart inside out i don't care about what secret experiments you got going on right now I, i'm having heart palpitations and i'm not sure what to do about it <clears throat> you on my dick bro like no way you walked up that far you got mad feds around here bro i'll be fresh as hell the feds watching though <laughs> like two chains said nigga Ugh, what kind of audacity is this can't you see that it's way past my bedtime what do you want uh are you supposed to be a fairy excuse me how dare you insinuate that i'm some sort of fairy i am a delicate and unique soul oh i didn't mean any harm by it i just really like the wings you have oh well i suppose i can understand your fascination with my exquisite wings they're a rare sight to behold after all but do not mistake me for a fairy for, for i am far more fragile and delicate than any of them could ever be well what do you consider yourself to be i don't want to make assumptions on anything so i want to make sure i get it right the next time i consider myself to be a unique and special snowflake forged from the essence of delicate beauty and fragility fragile fragility i am a true masterpiece of nature's creation and embodiment 
of ethereal grace and vulnerability. Wow, you sound so majestic. How can someone like me emit such an aura? Well, how kind of you to rec recognize my majesty? It's not an easy task to emit such a radiance like mine, but with enough devotion and appreciation for the delicate wonders of the world, you might come close. Just remember to handle everything with extreme care and sensitivity. This game is so whole lot of red and opium. I, I don't know, bro. I was like, you really know your stuff. I got my work cut out for me. Any way you can give me any pointers on any of this stuff? Oh, absolutely! Here are some pointers to help you emit a fraction of my aura. Damn, motherfucker. Embrace the beauty of simplicity, appreciate the intricacies of nature, and practice mindfulness in every aspect of your life. Delicacy and vulnerability are the keys to radiance. Okay, this nigga a yoga teacher. He might be. That was definitely a yoga teacher ass sentence. I would like to be your uh, <laughs> I would like to be your apprentice and study your ways. I would like to be your apprentice and study your ways and become a master just like you. What? The fuck? The glaze has shut down the servers. Uh, I guess I had too much riz on me, bro. Oh, that's fucked up. Nah, I'm wearing a biker uniform. Or like some sort of biker uniform, right? How do I finesse this one? What? How do I even approach this nigga now? I got it. I got it. I got it. Are you the fragile Fred I've heard so many things about? Bro, I'm a huge fan. Oh, wow. You heard about me? That's unexpected. I'm just a delicate soul trying to navigate this harsh world. How can I assist you, dear fan? Dude, your aura? Unrivaled. How do you get like that? Oh, it warms my fragile heart to hear such kind words. My aura is delicate, is a delicate balance of self care, positivity, and a lots, lots of bubble baths. Okay. Would you like to come inside and bask in the harmonious, harmonious atmosphere? I got it quicker this way. What the fuck? It would be such an honor. I have got to know what bath bombs you use. Ah, enlightened soul who appreciates the wonders of bath bombs. I have a splendid collection of lavender. Ah, oh, we ain't here for all that, we ain't here for all that. This is like a dream come true. Shout out to you, man. It fucking happened again, no way. Next door neighbor. Well, 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 if it isn't the newest member of the two-wheeled circus. Bitch, what the fuck? What brings you to my door at this ungodly hour, my adrenaline? Adrenaline junkie friend. Is that a coffee cup in your hand? I've been dying to try out some new brews from the neighbors. Oh, you've got a taste for adventure and caffeine. I see this here cup is filled with the finest roast in town, my friend, but I can't just let anyone try it. You have to prove your bike skills first. I've been cycling all over the world. I've even cycled in France, in the Tour de France. Nah. That was a crazy comeback she just came up with. No, I think I found the coffee shop right here. I heard you got the best brew in town. Oh, you heard right, but before I let you in on my secret brew, I gotta ask, are you just here for the coffee or you just show off that beanie on your head? Not gonna lie, you just gotta roast her, Jesus? No, I'm not gonna do that. The brew trick didn't work out when, uh, uh, let me cook, chat. Let me cook, okay? Let me cook. I got this. <sighs> Okay, I'm here for you, baby. No, I'm not saying that. I did just cop this beanie yesterday, but that's besides the point. I'm really here for the coffee. I gotta see if the claims are true. Well, 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 looks like you got some taste after all. I appreciate a coffee connoisseur. All right, I'll let you in on my secret brew, but remember it. It's so good, it just might roast your taste buds. Well, let's hope it doesn't actually hurt my tongue because I just want to be able to savor the flavor, you know? Oh, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Consider yourself invited, my coffee-loving friend. Get ready for a flavor explosion that make your fancy beanie fly right off your head. Step right in. Come here, ho! This bite is more bitter than my coffee. I bet it is. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another insomniac in need of my expert medical attention. Come on in if you dare. Doc, I've been really struggling this, uh, fuck! I can't be a voice actor because I'm always fucking up my Lines. Dog, I've been feeling really sick these past few days. I haven't been getting much sleep, and I think I'm catching a cold. You don't got lines, you making this shit up? That, that's besides the point. Ah, uh, the classic, I'm feeling sick routine, huh? Well, I'll try not to yawn before you bore me with your symptoms, so tell me, what exactly are you experiencing? It won't go down when I see you. Dog, y'all are insane. Well, I've been having this upset stomach. I've been having fevers. But once again, no sleep. I, I, I just don't know what to do. Well, I said stomach, fevers, and sleep troubles. You say, interesting, interesting. Have you been hanging around? Any shady places or eating questionable food lately? I may have a few remedies up my sleeve, but I can't make any promises. Well, I haven't really been to any weird places, and I haven't found anything particularly wrong with my diet. What do you think, Doc? Well, 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 it seems you're playing coy with me, hipster, but don't worry. I got my suspicious 
suspicions. I think you might be on to something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Tell me, have you been experiencing any other symptoms besides the ones you mentioned? I've been feeling congested. There's that too, I guess. Ah, uh, there it is. Congestion. The miss. Let's go, nigga! Well, hipster. You wanna say if you blah, blah 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 yeah 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 let me in nigga niggas need to stop testing my gangster this is worse than a bad Yelp review what the fuck did I just see dog prop I'm a vampire you know what do you want at this ungodly hour oh I'm sorry ma'am I didn't mean to disturb you you seem stressed though is everything okay oh everything is just peachy I'm just drowning in a deadline in a mountain of work no biggie just another day in corporate hell wow that's a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. The AI trauma dumping, yeah. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a lot. Seems like you could really use a hug right now. Look, I appreciate the sympathy, but I don't need any hugs. Just leave me alone so I can drown in my misery in peace, okay? Where my hug at? Nigga, fuck. Oh my stars, well bless your heart. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour, sweetheart? Let's get you inside, warm and cozy. Odd one real accent exposed? Nigga, fuck you. Damn, how do I go about this? Oh, bless your heart, it's been freezing out here and I haven't been able to get some warmth in my house because the power went out let's come on bro stop fucking with me man oh honey i'm so sorry to hear that don't you worry we're gonna get you all warmed up in no time let's get you inside and see if we can get that power back on all right oh carol you're just a ray of sunshine don't kill her hey you know what game we're playing <laughs> Wait till the PTA hears about this. I'm so sorry, Carol. I'm gonna be Carol today. Oh my goodness, who are you and why are you dressed like a chef at this hour? I hope this isn't another one of your cooking experiments gone wrong. Homer Benny? By nine, B9? Cooking experiments? Now what in blue blazes could you possibly be talking about? I'm here to warn you about the neighbors doing some weird stuff. Uh -huh. Neighbors doing weird stuff? You can't just... Young man, what the fuck? Nigga, I... This nigga just misgendered me. Whatever. And then this cop is here, bro. Hey there, eh? Looks like you've taken a wrong turn, but no worries, buddy. Can I help you find your way out of the wilderness? That's a big ax you got there. You chop trees often? Oh, you noticed, eh? Yep, chopping trees is what I do best. Been doing it for years. Keeps me strong and the lumber flowing, eh? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Tell her you got schizophrenia and people are gang stalking you. No, nigga. I'm not doing that. Um, I gotta come up with something good. Poutine? No. Yeah, you seem to be in pretty good shape. Anyway, I can get in on some of this action. I'm trying to get ripped. Hey, buddy, I like your enthusiasm. If you're up for it, I can teach you a thing or two about chopping trees. It's hard work, but it'll get you those muscles you're after. So make sure you bring your own axe, eh? Real footage of Odwin talking to women. This is a fucking lumberjack. You're not rocking with lumberjacks? Are you prop? No, no I'm, I have no problem with the lumberjacks, but that's not... I'm not trying to... You niggas are acting like I'm trying to riz this woman up. I'm trying to... Never mind. If she know her way around wood, I can't explain. That sounds great. I've been looking for good routines to really get me in shape. And honestly, being one with nature can really amplify that, you know? You got it, buddy. Working out is in nature is a whole other level. The fresh air, the sound of the trees, it's like a natural energy boost. We'll get you chopping and huffing in no time. Just make sure you've got the right gear and we're good to go, eh? I know I'm supposed to have an axe, of course, but can you put me on to everything else I'm supposed to, you know, have in my repertoire? Absolutely, buddy. Besides an axe, you'll need some sturdy work boots, thick gloves to protect your hands, and some safety glasses to shield your peepers. I've got all that gear in my back cabin. Why don't you come on in and we can get you all set up for a proper tree chopping adventure, eh? <laughs> This is a real maple bleed. Look, chat. I just got it like that, you know? She had an axe. Why is she not using it? Bro, there was a nigga using, that, that had a gun and didn't use it. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who we got here? Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? What the fuck? I'm sorry, wrong house. My bad. No worries, my friend. Everybody makes mistakes. But let me tell you, this place is full of surprises. Care to stick around and see what... I mean, shit, I got nothing to do today. What's in store for us? Why the fuck did that work? Ah, oh, yes, my friend, the wonders of, of, as vast as the ocean. We may uncover ancient artifacts, master the arts of kung fu, or perhaps even stumble upon hidden treasure. Honestly, kung fu sounds kick. Kick? Honestly, kung fu sounds sick. And I wouldn't mind having some extra change in my pocket with that hidden treasure shut the fuck up chat i know i said kick i know stupid ass nigga come here this is not the path of the warrior chat i'm gonna call it here for right now that was a good session i ain't gonna lie i think i'm gonna try to finish this game up tomorrow that was funny as fuck though for me once but never twice